Gaffer, a real front foot first half performance and, and a big defensive effort in that second half. Can, can football be like that sometimes? Yeah, there's lots of matches like that. I think uh, I loved how we played first half. Um, if anything, maybe we could have been more than one. But um, and then the second half was the complete opposite. But yeah, that's uh, that's football. That's League One. That's also look. We've got a team full of youngsters. Some in their first season of um, being a senior player. So yeah, they have to learn how to do or show both sides, and they did today. Um, second half was tough, and they stuck in there, and um, it was a big win, a really big result. Um, so really, uh, really pleased for the players. Defending is a real team, didn't we? Obviously, Sam made some big saves as well. But is that pleasing for a manager where, you know, the, the team defends so resiliently? Yeah, I think there's both. Uh, look, I think definitely we can be better with the ball, play under pressure. Um, yeah, but again, some of the younger ones have to... It's like a big experience, really. The, you're under that much pressure. I can sense uh, anxiety, really, from the support at times uh, when we have to try and play out. But we have to understand that we have to play under that pressure to actually uh, keep the ball, take the team up to the uh, in the opposition's half. If we don't, if we stop playing, then we end up with halves like we did today. Um, and but in a really positive side of things, we had to show a defensive mentality to win a game, and they did. Um, but I sense anxiety. I did. Um, and look, we've got really young lads there, um, and I have to show them the most support at that and those, during those hardest times to keep playing. And uh, and yeah, and they'll get better for sure. We'll talk about the winning goal in a minute, but previous to the goal, we had two big chances, didn't we? I think Marshall Gold had a great opportunity and Teller himself had a header that was saved. Both coming from great work down the left from Jordan Jones, who was, seemed to be a threat all game. Yeah, Jordan was uh, was outstanding. He was, uh, I know Sam had a big save at the end, but I thought Jordan was, uh, was our best player all day. So uh, yeah, it was, um, I guess that's what happens. We have two or three chances in the first half. It could feel very different if we take them. But then we have to rely on Sam as well, and um, we've certainly had to do that at times this season. Extremely talented goalkeeper, so um, yeah, it was. We had to show everything today. Um, and thankfully, we were on the end of, uh, of a positive result. There wasn't loads between the teams, um, but we came out on top today. Luke Chambers a real solid display in there and kept his ease relatively quiet on the whole and played a massive part in in Tello's wonder strike as well. Uh, just talk us through his performance and obviously a great strike from Tello. Yeah, I think uh, the team we selected today really um, had a bit of both. I wanted to be very aggressive in attacking, as you saw first half, but also playing Sean Clare and Chambers in those positions, I had to respect the threat that they have. Uh, Aziz is he's one of the best wingers in the league, um, and I felt in this game a lot a lot more secure than I did in the in the game at Reading. Um, so yeah, Chambers was very good in a very different performance. Northampton, he was uh, aggressive, running forward today. He had to defend and. Um, I guess like the team, you had to show both sides today, and yeah, he did okay. You gave Taylor the number ten shirt in in the off season, and uh, he proved again, I suppose, why he did that. What a strike and what a talent! At, again, we all forget he's just twenty one years of age. Yes, uh, you do. You forget how young he is. Uh, extremely talented. Uh, I'm going to push him that I need more of those moments because he does. Even the header, uh, I know he didn't score the header, but for me, it was a big bonus that he's actually in the position. That's different to last season. It's different to a few months ago, where normally he's always outside the box waiting to score. Today he did score, so uh, but he needs to be in that box more often. He's a talent, and uh, yeah, he's now affecting the game in in a big way. Another talent, Marshall Godo. Is he okay? I know he limped off early in that second half. Yeah, they're knocking his calf, so it's uh, they're quite hard to run off, and it's progressively got worse. So hopefully he's okay Tuesday. But Stephen Humphreys came on, and um, when he gets it right, Stephen, he's uh, he's a big threat. So um, yeah, he, I was very happy what Stephen did. Up to 13 for the highest position we've been in the league so far this season. It promising and two big games coming up, both at home again. I think that's, uh, yeah, it's, it was a big result today. It was a big game. Um, the objective's always been to stay up. It's been a difficult season uh, and I'd imagine it will, there'll be some difficult moments to come. But with the minus eight, it's just not consistent. At no point do I feel comfortable or, or, or feel like a really stable season. Every defeat feels bigger than it should. Uh, you get three or four wins, we never quite move into the top half, so um, yeah, we have to keep fighting. Final word on Reading, obviously going through a difficult time as we've said, and uh, credit to them and their fans as well today. Yeah, their fans are, um, I feel, I feel uh, and we've got big sympathy for them. The fans, uh, I've spoken a lot about our club and how much, uh, I'll, I'll never forget what they did this summer when they didn't know if we were going to be alive or not. It's the same for Reading. Um, the game's about players and supporters, so um, 
Yeah, I hope they're going to be okay. It's not an easy situation.